Hi, I'm Karaj Jado, your Mindset and Success Coach, and I empower professionals and entrepreneurs to gain sustained growth and work-life balance so they can be fulfilled in their lives and businesses and reach their full potential. And in this video, we are going to be speaking about the power of purpose, how to tap out and find out what's really missing in our lives. Many of us have goals, we have plans, we have dreams, we have ambitious ideals and we never quite get to them. In fact, most of us don't really ever get started. And the looming question is why? Why? And the temptation is there all the time to blame other people, blame external factors for why we often don't get the results that we desire. But we all know that the real reason, most of the time, comes back to us. Even if it's not full accountability, but generally there is a part that we are playing in us not getting what we want. That is totally solvable. And in this video, we're going to look at three or four things that you need to look at to cost correct and to really get you an idea as to what it is that you really want out of this life, out of this season that you're actually in. And the first tip here is that you need to take some time for yourself. Take some time offline preferably where you're alone with your thoughts and you do not have the thoughts of others reverberating in there. Being plugged in all the time, social media, the news, our cell phones instantly, constantly pinging and giving us notifications. We never really spend that much time thinking. Many of us live busy lives at work, really rigid schedule and that alone time, unless we're about to go to sleep and we're tired at that time, typically almost never comes. And doing that helps you clarify so much. Helps you clarify certain thoughts, certain loops that were never closed, right? And really allows us to gain clarity as to why we're doing certain things or what's best to do at the time. So the first step really is to Take some time to actually do some deep thinking and clarify a lot of what needs to be clarified and also why you're doing certain things and how your time could be much better utilized. Secondly, you need to take up new habits. Constantly challenging yourself is the way to grow and it's the only real way, real way to be honest. And most stagnancy, most boredom also comes from a lack of growth. It comes from a lack of challenge. It comes from a lack of initiative. Many of us are very passive in that we wait for opportunities, wait for others to show us the way. And as much as instruction is good, we don't challenge ourselves enough and we don't execute to the degree that we ought to. So understand that challenging yourself, whether it's something small in the personal life, a new routine, new exercise, simply trying to be more Productive, getting a coach, making yourself accountable in many ways, that really wakes you up and gets you in touch with that sense of purpose, that drive to really do more, be your best, and clearly decide what is to be done, what direction you should be going, and also helps you make the best decisions for every area of your life business, professional, family, you name it. Next, and this ties in actually. Develop an awareness of how you're using your time. Time seems to go by so quickly. We never have time for the important things. However, we all have the same 24 hours. And you need to be aware of where your 24 hours is going. Something simple, right? But almost none of us ever do this. And others or people may have calendars, they may intend to do things at a particular time, but those things never happen. Our to-do list never gets checked off. In fact, most people have a tendency to put more things on there rather than sometimes even subtracting and doing what matters the most. So having an awareness how you spend your time, whether it's online, whether it's offline, whatever your position is, really helps bring 
clarity and sheds light as to where your time has been going, what can change, and what you need to do differently. Next, reflect and commit to being better. So now that you have an awareness of where your time is going, now that you have tried a couple of times to change and you're getting some feedback, you're getting some results, you begin to notice some patterns. Understand that one, it's okay to fall short. We've all fallen short. I've fallen short, definitely. I've tried many things that haven't worked as I would like to. And that's the case for everyone, even the luminaries, celebrities, YouTube personalities that you see. Understand that we all fall short sometimes, and that's okay. However, you should not be a victim and let yourself stay there. So commit to being honest as to what went wrong, what have you been doing wrong. Get over the shame of that and do something different and commit to a much better outcome. That is how you truly change. And generally, whether it's a course or a coaching situation, that is what it actually really takes to succeed. Right? You assess where you're at. You take agreed on different actions and iterate from there so understand that you discovering your purpose really comes from you taking massive action and you being clear and also you adjusting where necessary because what you want at one season in your life will be different from what you wanted at another season so understand this lastly and very very important here you need to find something bigger than you to strive for. People generally complain that there is not enough time in the day or that they don't have time for the important things. And while that can be the case, most of us lack clear priorities. We lack clear conviction as to not just the activities that we should be doing, but how much time ideally should be devoted to such and even the people that we should be allowing to our lives. People have an effect on you, not just in your physical environment, but what you consume, media, news, gossip, friends. So understand that you need to ensure that you are clear as to why you're doing certain things and whether the reasons that you decided or that you've been doing them for, whether you acknowledge them or not, actually is worth it okay some of us may have friendships that we've been putting so much energy into and we've never gotten any kind of results from them meaning they don't reciprocate they don't appreciate right and it's just not a win-win relationship and you may have to do something differently here maybe it's your relation your romantic relationships okay and in doing so in really assessing the people the things that you do, the time that you spend, and where you spend that time, you gain more clarity as to what's more important to you, what's worth striving for, and eventually adjust and double down to get even better results. So, friends, understand that your purpose is powerful. We all have one. And whether you're spiritually based or not, there is something that your talents will help you get the most out of. There is really a purpose to be better. There is really something that you're uniquely good at. And you have to, it's your responsibility to do what's necessary to fully tap into this. So again, to summarize, three to five ways to clarify your purpose. Take some time for yourself, preferably off the internet. Second, Take up new habits. Challenge yourself and do the hard things that is necessary so that you can grow. Next, develop an awareness of how you're using your time. Whether that is with manual time tracking or an automated method or combination of the two, you need to know where your time is going so that you could know where to do the next things. You could know what to do differently. Next, reflect and commit to being better we're not perfect, even if our best effort to be fall short, and that's okay. However, you need to be honest as to what went wrong, why it went wrong, what you could be doing differently, and actually commit, not just talk about it, doing something different so you could have a much better result. And finally, find something bigger than you to strive for. Many of our problems are small 
or many of our magnified problems are that way because our goals are too small, right? We're only responsible for ourselves or we're only concerned about our well-being. And generally, until we see the plight of others, until we see others lacking certain things, we don't realize the privileges that we have and we don't have enough gratitude for the things that we have currently and want to move towards. So, to wrap up, understand once more that your purpose isn't something that someone can just tell you, right? It is for sustained action. It is for sustained growth, doing the work, that it, it's going to come to you slowly. And you may hit your head against the wall a couple of times. That's normal. And just remember that you need to do something differently. You need to actually be committed to being better. And you need to do the work. That's all it comes down to. Again, I'm Kareem Shadow from KareemShadow.com, the Minds and the Success Coach. If you'd like to book a clarity call with me, I do offer those. It's a 15 to 20 minute initial session to really see where you're at and help you decide together the next best steps for you. So visit crashhaddle.com slash call. The link should be in the description. Visit my website at crashhaddle.com and also send me a message. And if you learn something from this video, leave it in the comments, please. It's good for everybody and also for yourself to hold yourself accountable. Thank you so much. Talk to you next time.